An Introduction to StoreEdge Facility Management Software, Part 1. This series of short videos will take you on a tour of your software and teach you how to navigate your account. The first thing to know about your software is that StoreEdge is 100% cloud-based technology, accessible via desktop, tablet, or smartphone without downloading anything. All you need is a browser and internet connection. When choosing an internet browser, we strongly recommend Google Chrome, which will give you the best experience with your StoreEdge software. Now let's get started. First, we're going to open up a Google Chrome web page from which you can then access your StoreEdge account. By typing storeedge.com into the URL bar at the top of the screen and then clicking the login button. Alternatively, you can type storeedgefms.com into the URL bar. Either method will take you to the sign-in screen for your account. Once on this screen, enter the username and password provided to you. If you've forgotten your password, you can click the Forgot Password link to have an email sent to you with password reset instructions. Otherwise, just click Sign In. After you've logged in, you will be taken to your account dashboard. Your account is grouped into three main navigation tools. First is the black navigation bar at the top of the screen. The search box on the far left allows you to quickly find a tenant, unit, or invoice. To the right, you'll find the quick access buttons that allow you to easily perform your daily tasks. On the far right, you'll have the ability to switch between locations and your personal settings menu. Second, your account section icons are found down the left side of your screen. Each icon is a button allowing you to access an area of the software. Clicking on an icon will give you full visibility into that section. Third is your task list. You'll access it by clicking on the green dot and dash icon on the right side of the screen. It contains quick links to all of the day's tasks that require your attention. Utilizing these navigation tools, the black navigation bar, the account sections, and the task list, you'll be able to navigate your account to quickly and easily find anything you need. Let's take a deeper look at each area of navigation, starting with the search box in the top left corner. This tool will help you find your tenants using their first name, last name, business name, phone number, email address, unit number, or invoice number. For example, let's search for the tenant Bryce Matthews. As you type, you can see that the list is divided into three sections, tenants, units, and invoices. Selecting Bryce's name from the tenants group will take you to his tenant profile. Selecting the unit for an occupied or reserved unit takes you to the tenant profile. Selecting a vacant unit from the search results takes you to the unit profile. Selecting an invoice from the invoice group will take you to that invoice. The search box is also helpful for looking up retail transactions. For example, if a customer needs to return a box from a previous purchase and presents the receipt 4492 to you, you can type 4492 into the search box to quickly bring up the receipt and process the return. Next, in the black navigation bar, we have the quick access buttons. The tenant button allows you to add information to StoreEdge about a person interested in renting a unit, reserving a unit, or moving in right now. It will also allow you to add another unit to an existing tenant. The next button in the quick access dropdown is for taking payments. Just click the button, enter a tenant name or unit number, and you'll bring up the payment page. And lastly, in the ellipses, you'll find quick access buttons for processing a retail transaction, moving a tenant out, transferring a tenant to another unit, and closing the day. Now that part one is finished, take a break. And when you're ready, part two is just one click away.